guys, what's going on? It's Big Yacker. It's been a minute. Um, I am back. It's the beginning of March. And there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, I was on the... I want to buckle my seatbelt really quick. I was on the, uh, the Vibe Kayaks owners group last night pretty late. Um, there's a guy that uh, kind of gave me a compliment and told me that because of my videos, um, you know, he decided to take uh, take and pull the trigger on the uh, Sea Ghost. I think it was the new one. Um, uh, that's his name right there. Um, anyway, and I appreciate that, buddy, because it got me motivated to make this here video, um, even though I, I should have made it by now, um, I haven't though. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, most of you guys know my wife's come down with an illness. Uh, that's kind of, it's taken up a ton of my time. She is doing better. Everything's kind of, it's not necessarily remission, but it is uh, non-aggressive meaning that it's not spreading. And that's pretty much enough information if you didn't know what was going on to know what was going on now. All right, so back to the video because I will literally ramble on that for days because that's what I got going on. Like I was saying, I was on the Vibe Owners, uh, Owners Group Facebook page the other day and came across this guy, complimented me, and he got me motivated to make this video. Well, I kept looking at I kept looking at stuff on uh, kept looking at stuff on the video or uh, on the forum. It's amazing how much people are looking forward to this kayak come now, and I mean it doesn't surprise me at all because uh, let's just let's just uh, let's just be real. The bitch is bad. So. I put up a poll probably about two weeks ago asking everybody about the color that they want and when they actually end up pulling the trigger on their kayak, what color they were going to get, and of course the new color Hunter absolutely whipped everybody's butt. Then came in orange, then came in blue, then came in smoke. Um, smoke is a great color, I know a lot of people that like it. Um, but smoke still came in last. Sorry, Pete. I put up another poll last night saying, uh, you know, asking people what they were looking forward to the most. I think the f I, I put only put on there four options. Or that's why there was only four options. And I wanted to throw in there a screwball, and that's why I threw in the state-of-the-art built-in cup holder. Anyway, like I said, it's just mind-boggling how many people are looking forward to this, this kayak. Like I said, it doesn't surprise me at all. The, the fact that Vibe can still put out this kayak for $899 instead of last year's $7.99. I did some math last night also, and this is another reason why I wanted to make this video. People were, I've actually heard a couple people out here locally in Jacksonville, um, not bash, but ask, well, why couldn't Vibe keep, why, why couldn't Vibe keep their, uh, their price point at $7.99? Why'd they have to bring up that model by $100? $7.99 was a great price. Great price. And I don't know anybody, honestly, that literally just got the kayak and didn't do anything to it. Whether it be upgrade a paddle or put some extra bungee or do this or do that. Get an upgraded seat. Freaking uh, the, the, the gear track system on there. I don't know anybody that didn't do do any of those things. I mean, I know there's people that kind of did some, but not all. But somebody, every everybody, put something new on their kayak. 
I upgraded my seat. That was the first thing I upgraded. That was almost a hundred dollar upgrade. Almost. Putting us at eight ninety nine. Almost. You know, I upgraded the uh, uh upgraded my paddle. Now I'm over eight ninety nine. Then I added gear tracks. If I don't if I'm not mistaken, I think those were about twenty dollars a piece. That's forty more dollars. There's not a way that you could have added, you know, Plano box things unless you put a milk crate. But they were back there in the back back hatch. That's why it's eight ninety nine. Um, I'm looking forward to this, guys. I can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this video up today because this is just stuff on my mind. I know it's kind of a fill video, but uh. I'm going to share the hell out of this video. That way people can come to the uh, Five Kayaks Owners Group uh, forum on Facebook and just, just look at the comments, guys. This kayak. I remember the dealer in Jackson, our dealer in Jacksonville, Rick's Bait and Tackle Shop. Rick Hale and Toby Browning. I told her, told Toby, I said, you don't even have to sell these kayaks. These kayaks sell themselves. Just beware, when you go to the forum, you're going to want to buy. And that's all I got to say. So until next time, hopefully very, very, very soon, as soon as I get that new 2016 Vibe Seaghost 13 Zero, there will be that specs and features video that all you guys are looking forward to. All right, I'll catch you later.